Russian specialists have tested the durability of glass designed for the MC-21 passenger jet. According to the press service of the state corporation Rostec, the material was developed by the Obninsk Scientific and Production Enterprise Technologia. The tests showed that the glass could withstand even strong impacts. During certification testing, it endured a collision equivalent to a bird strike at speeds exceeding 600 km per hour. This development will help protect pilots from potential bird strike incidents during flights. Rostec demonstrated three types of tests. The first test examined the side window, the second test evaluated the rear window, and the third test focused on the windshield. Rostec emphasized that the cockpit windshield is a semiplex, consisting of four layers of silicate glass bonded with a polymer film. Its high durability is achieved through ion exchange strengthening technology, which also allows for complex glazing geometries. This technology provides strength that is six to eight times higher than standard options. The glass structure is equipped with electric heating technology, preventing fogging due to temperature fluctuations. This procedure ensures high optical quality in all conditions. During his annual address to the Federal Assembly last year, Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov announced a delay in the delivery of MC-21 aircraft to airlines. The primary reason cited was the need to ensure passenger safety due to ongoing tests of the new aircraft. According to his projections, commercial operation of the MC-21 will begin no earlier than 2026. Chemezov emphasized the importance of completing certification before launching mass production, calling it a top priority. Anton Alikhanov, head of the Ministry of Industry and Trade, stated that mass deliveries of the MC-21 will commence in 2026. This year, the delivery of TU-214 aircraft to customers is planned. The top management of the United Aircraft Corporation, in close collaboration with the Ministry of Industry and Trade, is actively organizing flight tests for the import-substituted MC-21-310 version and coordinating schedules. To expand the MC-21-310 certification parameters, an agreement has been signed for a set of research and development activities between the Ministry of Industry and Trade and the Yakovlev Design Bureau. Financial support has made this progress possible with a plan to allocate 21.7 billion rubles by the end of 2027. The funding is divided into three stages. In the first stage, 9.9 .9 billion rubles by December 2025. In the second stage, 6.9 billion rubles from November 2025 to December 2026. And in the third stage, 4.8 billion rubles from November 2026 to December 2027. However, publicly accessible sources don't offer in-depth details on the precise tasks required at each step. Rosaviatsia, Russia's Federal Air Transport Agency, plans to sign a new agreement with the Perm-based UEC Aviadvigatel company to develop a modernized version of the PD-14 engine. The main goal of this upgrade is to adapt the engine to low temperature conditions to prevent ice formation. According to Andrei Velichko, head of the Aviation of Russia portal, this contract aims to enhance the MC-21's functionality, including integrating new systems and equipment while improving operational performance. The proposed financial investments are expected to strengthen the MC-21's competitive edge against Airbus and Boeing aircraft. In February 2025, the Yurkutsk Aviation Plant received a batch of serial production PD-14 engines for installation on MC-21-310 airliners. United Engine Corporation, UEC, Chief Designer Yuri Shmotin stated that these engines are reliable and operate stably. Testing confirmed compliance with certification requirements, significantly enhancing the aircraft's operational potential across different climate zones. The PD-14 demonstrated effective performance even in extreme cold, enabling airlines to deploy the aircraft in a wide range of geographical locations. Aircraft manufacturers and engine developers are working intensively to complete MC-21 certification by the end of this year. This process involves implementing 16 key technological advancements, including titanium hollow fan blades. According to First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Manturov, even if the import of foreign aircraft resumes, Russian airlines prefer domestically produced planes. The process of replacing foreign components with PD-14 engines is in full swing, 
alongside the active development of avionics, power systems, and airframe components. Certified Russian aircraft will be the top priority for airlines as foreign manufacturers have lost access to the Russian market. The government will focus on analyzing the potential return of foreign companies to ensure stable aviation industry development and independence from geopolitical factors. Researchers at Tomsk State University have successfully completed the certification of ozone neutralizers, which are being sent to the Irkutsk plant for installation in passenger aircraft. The air conditioning system for aircraft will incorporate these devices, which received the 01 marking in 2024 after passing tests at the Engineering Center for Chemical Technologies. This confirms their readiness for use in commercial aircraft in both Russia and abroad. Following a recent deal, UEC has deployed an innovative IT infrastructure to support and maintain PD-14, PD-8, and TV-7117, ST-0, and 02 engines. This platform provides users with access to updated technical documentation and enables continuous monitoring of engine performance throughout their operational life. Aviation industry executives conducted a thorough inspection of this system at various production facilities, including UEC Klimov, UEC Perm Motors, UEC Saturn, and UEC Aviat Vigatel. Several automated modules were integrated to streamline aircraft maintenance. In February, MC-21 test prototypes did not conduct flights in either Zhukovsky or Irkutsk. In collaboration with the Gromov Flight Research Institute, experts from Yakovlev's Flight and Research Complex are conducting ground tests in Zhukovsky to evaluate the MC-21's resistance to lightning strikes. The aircraft prototype 73051 is being used for these tests. Meanwhile, in Irkutsk, aircraft 73055 is awaiting the start of factory testing due to delays in final approvals. At the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, another MC-21 prototype, registered as 73057, is undergoing system functionality checks. Now, do you still think MC-21 schedules can be met? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.